Alrighty, hello, hello, hello. Okay, the first thing you can do when you're bored in this game is build a um a floating base, basically. When I say floating base, I mean like one that's like floating just above the water. Build a floating base slash floating city because you are gonna want to make this. Well, I guess it's up to your your preference, but I would want to make this like extremely large because it's way cooler that one. For one, well, it's gonna take an insane amount of time to do unless you're doing like something super basic and not only that it's going to it's going to be a, di a, um, a slightly different build than like your regular Symbiotica base since you're going to be you know building above the water you can only really what the freak i don't know how he got up here um okay you can only really do this in the safe shallows like you can start your base from the safe shallows but you can build it out to like anywhere because once you put the first foundation down you just connect it from, across, from around like the entire map. So you're probably gonna have to start it in the safe shallows because you aren't gonna wanna start it from the um, from one of the islands because you're gonna have to, well, that's just super far away and you're not gonna wanna do that. I'm not gonna say you can't do this in survival because you definitely can't. You could do dang near everything in survival. It's just gonna take, by the time you finish, you might be an old man, I don't know. But I wouldn't do this in survival, but if you want the extra challenge, you definitely can. Or you could just do, uh, the uh, Bob the Builder command, like I did just now, to make everything like build faster, so it's like instant, and also everything is free to build. Why isn't I letting me build? Thank you. And yeah, you can get about as creative with this as you want. You can build this, build your base like over in super deep areas, and maybe have like a cool little moon pool type docking area, or maybe like an observatory type thing, or you can even build it into the Aurora or something. You know, you can do a million different things with this. Hence why it's something you could do whenever you're bored. It's like, I don't know what's wrong with the Cyclops. It's having a seizure in the water. I don't know what's going on. It should already be destroyed. So I don't know why he's trying to come back to life. So if you were bored and just didn't know what else to do and you wanted to explore the map a little, but do it in like a less basic way, do it in a way that's a little more fun. You can take your prawn suit, if you have one, and put two grapple arms on it. And you're also going to need the, the, the prawn suit jet jump upgrade because it's going to make you help you move around faster. But you're just going to take the grapple arms and you're just going to shoot your way around the entire map. Sometimes you can get some really, some really nice air. And also just zipping around the map using a grapple. Using a grapple gun is, is, is kind of fun in itself. It'll be like Batman, basically. So Batman uses the grapple gun all the time. I think this is this like a way more interesting way to traverse the map than just like going around in a going around in a sea mode or or a cyclops because those two things do not have any sort of grappling uh you know thingy majigs just kind of they just kind of float Bratsu kind of walks around and as you can see I am flying around happy as can be but yeah if you have a prawn suit you got the grapple arm it's definitely something that you could do entertain yourself at least for a little bit you know Dep depending on how much you want to explore the map will determine how long this will entertain you i'm guessing because if you don't have that big of a need for exploration you don't want to look around the map then you're probably not going to be doing this for very long if you want to explore the map you want a cooler way to explore the map that'll be that's way inter more entertaining than you know standard modes of transportation then you can do this Okay, and lastly, the very last thing that you can do for today that I could think of is taking the sea moth because this, but the sea moth you can actually put like multiple of the same upgrades on. As you can see right now, I have four sonars equipped. So with the sea moth, you can take it and basically think of the weirdest upgrade combination possible and put that on your sea moth and see how it plays out. Right now, I have like a a sort of like infinite sonar type thing going on where I can do that and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again and then you could do something like I don't know maybe like four torpedoes torpedo bays and like completely spam spam shooting at things uh you could do four perimeter defense thingy with jiggies you could do two torpedoes two perimeter defenses it was like a, it's a lot of different combinations that you could do. I mean, I, I imagine at some point you'll probably run out because I mean, there's not infinite upgrades 
and there's probably only so much you can experiment with, but it's still kind of interesting to do and can be kind of entertaining since most likely when you first played through, you probably didn't, you know, put anything, any like crazy combinations on your Steam mod. And if you did, well, kudos to you. But for the people who didn't, you can do it now, now that you're like sitting around bored, not knowing what else to do. You just play around with them for however long you want. And yeah, that's about all I, all I really have for y'all today. And I will catch you in the next piece.